We're here today at TAB Forum's annual fixed income conference. We're going to talk today about fixed income data and tools, and I wanted to start off by reading a quote. The fluidity of risk transfer in fixed income markets is dependent on the quality of information that allows market makers and asset owners to properly assess the value of their holdings. Now with that, as certainly as, as someone who's passionate about and fascinated by uh, data flows, there's little that's uh, more interesting than the data flows in fixed income markets. So I'm delighted to be here today with Bill Gartland, who is the Senior Director of Evaluation Services at Interactive Data and a sponsor of this conference. Bill, I wanted to just give you the shot right up the middle. How important is data and tools? I, I know this is a bit of a softball, but well, where are we? I mean, it's, it hasn't been a clean, it hasn't been an easy nut to crack. No, it hasn't been, Paul. And I think, uh, you know, IDC has been in the uh, end of day pricing business for the past right. 40 years. Right. Our prices, as a result of that, have real relevance to the market since many of the 40 Act funds do mark the market based yeah. on our prices. Um, as a post credit crisis, what we've seen is a real demand from clients as you said, you know, for asset owners to need to know throughout the day, right. not just at once a day, but throughout right. the day, be able to value, value this, uh, their assets, know what prices look good from the market makers that are coming into them as the markets have become a bit more fragmented, as trade right. sizes have fallen, uh, as, you know, uh, although volumes still remain robust, um, it's, it's a different market out there. Right. Um, we took that opportunity uh, and, you know, at the direction of many of our clients to begin to re-engineer the way that we generate prices, and we're now capable uh, of generating those prices and evaluations throughout the day. So we now have a product called Continuous Fixed Income Evaluator Pricing that we've launched here in the U.S. as well as in Europe, and we're due to launch before the mid-year point in, in Asia, which allow us to stream fixed income prices for credit and other asset classes to uh, to our customers. Um, we've seen great take up. You know, the ETF is a, uh, space is a, a one Glaring, right. you know, great right. example. Right. Uh, we walk into a lot of the APs and we show them we have a streaming fixed income feed, and they just want to plug it in because that's how they monitor the markets for equities. So we've so predominantly an end of day market pre a few years ago. Right. I mean, this is fairly new innovation in fixed income data, right. fixed income tools and markets, and the idea. I mean, with the, in the name continuous pricing, how close as you move from end of day to intraday, but how close are we to continuous pricing or is it a you know, snapshot? Yeah, and I think you have to look at, you have to define continuous right. correctly, right? So, um, you know, in, in rates markets, continuous is, you know, continuous. The prices are updating, you know, not necessarily as, act, as actively as equities, but, you know, sure. very quickly. Um, you know, but in credit, uh, the continuous really means more that we, we have our team of 200 or so evaluators around the globe watching the markets on an ongoing basis and making adjustments to value as the market informs us that there's new levels being reached. Right. You know, if a bond moves and if a spreads widen, we'll adjust our spreads and start publishing prices at those new spreads. If you study the tape, the trace tape as much as I do, uh, you'll see that, you know, the markets are relatively sticky. Bonds right. trade at, you know, a certain spread or high right. yield at a certain price right. for long periods of time, sometimes multiple days. And, you know, but then when they move, they really move. And you really want to wait an hour for, a, uh, you know, an hourly snap. Or do you want to know that information now? Because that's the trade that you're making. So, uh, final question. I, what I'm interested in is you build out your roadmap and your game plan with your team right. going forward. There's so much that you could be working on. Yeah. I mean, where do you see, like, how do you feel, how, how important are the, this new level of tools, new capability of tools and data as an impact for liquidity, market structure? How do you... How do, how do you watch that? How well, do you monitor that? Or how do you attempt to try and influence that? So, so the work that I've been doing more recently that's sort of more researchy is to try to adapt and take what we're currently publishing. You know, we publish a price on every bond in U.S. credit that trades. When there's a trace print, I have a, an interactive data CEP price. I can match them off. I can do lots of uh, statistical analysis against that. We have the a budding effort now in, in terms of adapting that to a TCA, right? right? Clients have asked us, and you know, there's a, there's a strong interest among clients to, to, you know, if you can't measure it, you can't, you know, if you can't measure it, you can't right. do you anything can't about it. You can't, can't manage, manage it. it. Sorry, right. exactly. And um, 
you know, we think that, you know, CEP gives us, you know, sort of a surrogate for, you can't get VWAP because there's, you know, not enough concurrent trading going on to do VWAP, but we can use our price to show where the markets are moving during the time that an order is out in the market. You right. can start to measure the performance of your dealers, your portfolio managers, the so traders. So getting better at measuring and greater specificity, yeah, greater spe granularity. Greater granularity and, and sort of helping people take the things that they know work in FX and, and equities and futures and bring them over to fixed income, which is, yes. I think, uh, you know, at the root of a lot of the regulatory initiatives. Yeah, like absolutely, you know, absolutely. Mary Jo White tells us that we were, you know, we've left our technology behind uh, all these other guys that are ramping up. And, right. You know, we're trying to get you there, too. Well, I'm delighted to have you here. It's a fascinating topic. It's one that's important to the data and analytics practice that, that I'm leading for TAB Group. Um, why don't we bookmark, let our audience digest a bit. I look forward to having these conversations going Absolutely. forward. Thanks, Paul. Bill Gartland, Senior Director of Valuation Services from Interactive Data. I'm Paul Rawati, Director of Data and Analytics here at TAB Group. Thanks for watching.